so glad you're with us to kick off your weekend. It is Saturday morning in Calgary as the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship continues on TSN. It's a well-known team looking for another gold. Jocelyn Peterman picked up a Scotty's title back in 2016. Brett Glantz is a three-time prior winner and a men's world champion. And they're just as good in this discipline, winning the Canadian Mixed Doubles on two occasions, including 2019. The defending champs got in the win column yesterday and now sit at 500. And this morning, they'll face Kadriana Sahadak and Colton Lott. Draw 11 from the Calgary Curling Bubble is next. What a beautiful morning in Calgary, Canada Sports Hall of Fame on your right, Wind Sport Arena on your left, and that is where we are, and that is your feature this morning, Sahadak Lot, taking on Peterman and Glant. Some updated scores from last night, Jones and Lang still undefeated, they win 13-2, Grandy and Jansen bouncing back with an 11-2 victory, and Kerry Anderson, Brad Gushu, also with a win, 8-2. Glad you're with us to kick off the weekend. Hi, everybody. Come on inside Windsport Arena. Brian Mutrick joined by Kathy Goche. And let's begin with our feature and Jocelyn Peterman and Brett Gallant. They are the two-time gold medalists at this event. They lost their opener. It was our feature. Bounce back, now 500. But if they want to win their pool, they got to get some momentum going. Well, and it's interesting. Jocelyn talked about it in a post-game interview yesterday, saying it's not the first four that they struggle with. It is finishing off. And one of the things that we keep going back to is the Scotties and Briar play. Both of these individuals individuals so mentally tough in the last couple of weeks that can be the let off in the back four can't afford to do that today Kadriana Sahadak and Colton Lott not maybe household names but look out in this tournament and this format they are 19 and 3 all time in mixed doubles well Kadriana not playing a lot of women's back home in Manitoba but this has been her discipline it is something that she works on to the exclusiveness of the team sport so what we have here is two teams that have focused on mixed doubles this should be a fine testament to that sport this is their third national championship together and they've medaled twice so don't sleep on this team we're excited first rock coming up next from Calgary Alberta in the curling bubble Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of Canadian Curling for 40 years. By OK Tire and BKT Tires. By New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Such a wonderful facility, Windsport Arena here in Calgary, about a 20 minute drive west of downtown Calgary. It is day three, draw 11, as we get ready to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware, here's how. And out of the Winnipeg Beach Curling Club in Manitoba, it is Kadriana Sahadak and Colton Lott, as Kadriana will throw rocks one and five, Colton two, three, and four. Jocelyn Peterman, Brett Glantz, the champions in 2016 and 2019, and Jocelyn rocks one and five, Brett will throw two, three, and four. And in winning the draw to the button this morning was the team of Peterman and Glant, so they will have Hammer. That is why their Yellowstone is back four. The center line guard, that is how we start mixed doubles play. And the first stone coming from Kadriana Sahadak. And it is incredible, Kathy. You talk about this team to have a record 19 and three all time at Canadian mixed doubles. That is truly impressive. It really is. It tells you that not only do they have a lot of success but we talked about it a little bit in the opening this is something that they work very very hard at colton of course a two-time canadian junior champion playing with matt dunstone does still play men's but the focus is mixed and kadriana very very focused on mixed doubles okay. i think so top four top button
And 2016, a year that she'll never forget. Obviously, you see the mixed doubles championship. Also, the year she won the Scotties title with Chelsea Carey. Not the most positive. Stay down. I got top 40. Okay, line's good. Line's good. Almost freezing. Well, then. It's good. Just top button. Uh, no. Girl. Girl. Good shot, Joss. That's good. And it did, right to the Thank face. You on top. Good. So good if judge. you're new to mixed doubles, and many are, it is a very fast game. Like yeah. It is five stones per team. Ten stones in an end. You see the set stones, obviously, with the X's. Where do you like the only here? way that that changes, a team can call a power play with hammer and then play is moved out to the wings or a corner guard. And then the stone in the house is touching 12 foot and 8 foot. And you cannot remove the first three stones that are delivered per end, even if they are in the house. A little different from the free guard zone when you play team play. Is that right now? Take Pulse. the bolt. Still there. Line's good. Still there. Needs to curl. No, no. Yep, hard finish. That's good. That's good. Uh, sure. Coming right Hood down to the lid. More weight, just moving it a smidge. Okay. And so with Hammer in this first end, Brett yeah. talking about trying to move those stones back a little bit, create maybe some space so that if they have the opportunity to hit and just the clustering in the forefoot can become a problem if you have last rock and trying to find a way to score two. Wait, it's good. Bit of room. Easy, easy line. Back button. Whoa. Clean. Little light. No, okay, back four. You can four. go, you can go. Got to get a little yep. low. It's good. Well, you can see the angles will be an issue. And one of the things that Kadriana talked about is how good Colton is at angles. So lining those stones up to make them properly will be really key. And Colton Lott, one of the biggest rock throwers when he played juniors and men's, his ability to throw up weight when it's needed, he can utilize it and get great results. Maybe a shade less. Weight's good. Line's pretty good. Whoa. There right now. Still there. Coming Getting down. Close. Stay close. It's interesting. Yep. I see him with that Manitoba tuck. Yep. You wonder what BJ Newfeld would do with tight. the corn broom coming out, and you'd have to deliver, I'm grab really a broom, yep. get ready to sweep. Yep. That would be interesting. Great shot. Nice one. That's good. Well, we've already talked a little bit about the weight that Colton can throw. So guarding against the bullet, knowing that that's what's going to be coming at you, watching angles, and we talked about it in the opening, finishing this game with eight strong ends and not letting teams off the hook in the second half will be key. And keys to the game brought to you by Scotty's, Canada's number one tissue. Yeah, you want to try to get, like, just a hair high, hey? Hair high with heavy board. Heavy board? Okay. Heavy board. Might come up a bit fresh in here. Fresh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be fresh. Do you like that, Brown? Well, I'm thinking like a 10. Yeah, okay. I do, though. Yeah. No, no, no. Three quarters. A chance to move right. that shot stone just back a little bit, so not throwing big weight. What number is he implying when he says a 10, Kathy? So a 10 hog to hog, that's about an average hit weight that please, most teams please. throw. Yep, yep. So it's definitely good. more than board or hack, but not trying to throw peel. Back red, back red. And it's a Hadek lot, still it's shot stone, back up. button. Yeah, probably. What do you think about here? Are we, are we Oh, that's not that good. I just, they no, always I, have I like, this, I like right? this, yeah. Uh, control. Control? Probably Where do you want to here? Want to hit about uh, thin three-quarter low. There. Almost two-thirds. Try to roll it. Just leave the forefoot. Should have thrown a little more weight. 
lost it, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Good line call. Thought we overkilled it a little. Ran straight, and then it came up nice, like we thought. I still have one more. Um, yeah. It looked like it really wanted to go. Like, I thought if yep. you weren't down, no, I agree. you would have lost would've. it. So Colton trying to hit and roll under, not only to lie to, but also to take away this same shot for Peterman yep. and Gallant, not allowing them to hit and roll in. Oh. And the little flip inside. And they will lie too. I'd love to get it spin Just low. a hair low, yeah. And I think if we still clink that, it'll kind of go. Okay. Do you like here? So just off nose, you make the double. Faster, you probably get a uh, spinning right. gear effect close. off the back yeah, stone. Really like they're losing at least. We, sh we might get shot here if he gets to the inside. A little more. Team with Hammer here in one, trying to clean things up around the forefoot, and he will it. wreck wine, eh? on the guard. Jeez, Brett. Bump it a little bit. I See think I so, Cage. I just never gave it a chance. Oh, sorry. Well, that's a rush. He had barely had it out of his hand, then he was trying to get up and run to sweep appeal. It's a, it's a, a big athletic endeavor to do that. And sometimes when you're thinking about doing that, you heard Brett say he just never got to the stick and gave himself a chance. Shoot. And banking time is so important. We saw a just couple like instances in this championship, and including yeah. yesterday like where no Caitlin more. Laws, no I mean, it would have been probably replay no worthy to okay. see if she got it off in time. Her final stone where the clock was striking zero. So banking time is truly important as well every team does get two timeouts in this event of 90 seconds each you have 24 minutes of thinking time in these eight end games might have to go a be little nice bit. to tap it a hair high might have to go a little a little lighter hey weight's definitely there line's it's pretty close. good needs to curl no line's no. good no 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 needs to curl try to increase the pressure here in this first end so Okay. A little Sorry. tap, and That's they fine. will lie three, but now opens up the button a little bit. How do you want to play? What do you want to play? Kind of just thinking knows this. Okay. There's nothing for two. It's just tough. Like, where do you put the broom? What do you like? Yeah, I think you have to. Well, and the other thing I was thinking is come in with hack or something. But no, I think I like the nose. Just where do you? What are you throwing? Like it's down the fresh path, right? Yeah. What way do you want to throw? I kind of like the out here with like heavy board. Okay. Do you like that? Sure. You Maybe might be wondering why more. this is so difficult yeah. to put the broom down. It's that we remind you that in the pregame practices, all the play is outside to the in, and so there's been very little stones if any thrown in that center line path. So with fresh pebble, sometimes you're gonna get a lot more movement and that's yep. the nervousness of putting the broom down for the we'll nose hit. Like. Right? Yeah. First Has to roll path. a little bit in order to I'm score. Like from what I can see of the, what I can see of the and It wouldn't be the end of the world even if you gave up the one considering the yeah, circumstances the here. The edge of the top one? Yeah, I think so. With like a 10, right? I was thinking just like a 10 and a half. You I don't like think that's 10. enough ice then. Okay. So a good look that you saw there. It is, that stone is totally accessible. Can't afford to roll too far though because you could end up going right through the wall of red. There's a hole. So a precise shot here in one for Jocelyn Peterman. Final stone. Clean, yep. 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 Whoa, whoa. Clean, clean. The hit, little flip inside. Oh, oh that is a beauty, and I think Yellow. just enough for one. 
Good speed. Good shot. I'm One yellow. As Colton confirms, <laughs> really nice touch shot early job, from huh? Jocelyn Peterman. Wait. We're underway with our feature yeah. game here in Calgary. Let's see at the end, like. It all began this past Thursday. 35 teams competing from across our wonderful country. Five pools of seven teams. And as Peterman Gallant come in with that one and one record right now in their pool, Molding and Courtney are three and oh. So is it a must win? Well, I guess maybe not, but really if you want to win your pool and qualify and get to the playoffs, at the end of the day, it's a page playoff system. Four teams will make the final four and the winner will be crowned this upcoming Thursday. Great shot, really good. As we bring you back to our feature, and it was a really nice shot. We were discussing it, Kathy. It didn't look like much, just a simple hit and stick with a little bit of a roll for a single, but that was a very nice shot from Jocelyn Peterman to pick up that single. Well, lots of pressure early being placed by Kadriana and Colton on Peterman and Gallant. And then just having to make sure that she rolled that yep. little bit to get shot oh. in a path three. that they've not thrown in. Yep. Good result. Yep. Hard, Colton, go. Hard. Wide, good. Yep. Hard. Shot. Good throw. Good brush. Line's nice. A lot of hair, light. Looks pretty good. Line's good. good. Line's great. Keep a broom down to keep it high, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, hard. Okay. Good, good wait. I think just corner freeze it. So as we mentioned, there is five pools of seven teams. You win your pool, you're going to move on. And then from there, the top seven other teams will also qualify for 12 total moving on. So Courtney, Molding, and Pool A, well, they're leading. Sahadak Lot, obviously in our feature, they are 2-0. and And that's why we talked about it, a 1-1 one one record. Yeah, you're not out of it by far. But if you want to win the pool, if you want to move on, really, there's not a lot of room for error right now for the two-time gold medalists. Well, and there isn't, especially when you play the teams that are ahead of you. You would no longer have the opportunity to bring them back. And so a win, as you say, Brian, it's so early to say it's a must win, but it really does feel like it is for Peterman and Gallant to stay up there in this pool. And you'll remember, or if you don't remember, we'll, we'll update you. It was our feature to start things, and it was Peterman Gallant versus Molding and Courtney, and Peterman Gallant had them. They, they really did. did, and you mentioned in one of your keys, it was losing a bit of steam in that game. In their final four, they let Molding and Courtney back in it, and they ended up winning. Mine's good. Got a light. You've got a hair more room. Well, both teams were trying to corner onto these stones to get an opportunity to hit and maybe remove a couple. But as we talked about in one of the keys, line them up. The problem is now that they're all lined up in a row, it's going to be hard to move a number of stones at the same time. Good throw. I don't know. Just gonna throw. That red one locked pretty maybe hard nice in there. Just to lose our back red. Nice throws. If I run it with like, like just normal weight. Just try to jiggle it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need a huck peel at it. No. Just normal, just off nose on this side. Off nose on, on this side? On the high side? side, yeah. So the red stone at the back of the forefoot with the X, that's the stone well, that starts at the beginning of the end. That's the problem. So trying to run it back, get rid of that back red stone, even though it's theirs, that's causing them the problem and going to stop them from being able to score two. Kathy, we got to watch Colton win that Canadian Junior 2013, and then three years later, 2016, with Matt Dunstone. Yep. Two yep. world bronze medals as well. Oh. Had a great junior career, yep. did Colton Lott. Can he jiggle things around in the forefoot? And he will. Okay. That's good. Well, changes things up, and that was one of the goals, as well as getting rid of the back. 
just lost it. I didn't want to jam that one. There. Yeah. And pop our red so far out. Or Brett. Huh? But then. They can't play that shot. Okay. Well, if he plays it on this one, we got that yellow, nose yellow. Okay. Double on the reds. Okay. Like, you can play that because you can yeah. throw it hard enough, but. Okay. Uh, I'd like to get a little low so he doesn't, he can't roll off and okay. get in. How hard are you throwing? Uh, why don't I throw board? Okay. Uh, Do you like there? Maybe a hair fresh in here? Yeah, I won't be light. Nose is fine, I just. Yeah. Probably 10 and a half ish. It's interesting too, both these players, Peterman Gallant playing in the bubble, Scotty's in the briar, obviously, and you wonder, you know, fatigue, they're not playing a lot mixed doubles. You wonder though if the mental fatigue after a while will catch up to you, whereas Sahedak and Lot, they're fresh in the bubble, their first event here together. Well, that is an advantage, but the disadvantage is not knowing the ice and stones and just getting used to it as we all had to, Brian, coming in here and being very limited in your movements. Is that a good call? I mean, just to open it up for you, eh? Yeah. Probably. Like, it might touch this one. If it does, everything's going to go this way. It will. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I think so, Kate. Okay, got it. Feel? So this Either is going to be the weight that we it. talked about that Colton can do. Back. Come down, yeah. hit that one on the side. That goes. This one might drag on there. It's not going to come yeah, back like that shows. Confirm. You're going to lose that back one at the yellow, and there's only going to be one red, but the forefoot should open, and you should see a shift of everything moving to the left of the screen as you look at it. Uh, it's about a third. Okay. So. R1 moves in. and R8. R1 is, Do you think? I think, Sayonara. Yeah. Depends exactly where he hits it, like. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes! Oh. Oh. Sorry. Too thin. Okay. Can you? So some updated scores from around the sheets of ice this morning as Osem Wan and Trevor Bunno have a one thing advantage. The Laws combination trying to rebound versus Haas and Tardy after their loss yesterday to the John Morris Schmiemann team. And it is Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong. They have a one thing advantage over Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell. As Ashley Quick was the 2008 silver medalist at the Canadian juniors there in their six nationals together in this format. They won a bronze together in 2014 in Ottawa. We could guard, and she really doesn't have much to score to. Yeah. You can play a little shot in here, or you can play that. It's a three. I kind of want to play play it, but I. What do you want to play? Feel like it might be stupid. To play this. Okay, let's play it. The hack waiter looks real tough. Okay, like, let's play it. Okay. Half, good half. Are you, you want, seeing the in or the what out? What are you throwing? What do you want to see? I think the in. Okay. I think, uh, I think two options. Straight, it's, uh, One is you come off there. If you make it, path. you lie three. The other option is that you throw a guard, and it'll be pretty tough to score two. But talking about putting pressure on your opponent, Jocelyn's able to make this. Kadriana is going to have a very tough shot. So minute. think about that and just yeah. Yeah, just at the end I kind of just pinched it out. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that that's why it ran straighter. Yeah. 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 Whoa. 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 A lot of rotation. Whoa. Big release on the insert. Bang it, roll it. Can she clip the red? Oh. It just hits her own stone. Okay. Great try. So close. It was so a great try. Pretty, really good shot, actually. There's no two. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. 
so, oh, dude, so yeah, close to making this perfect. A little thicker, it comes off flatter. But get? still a really wonderful <laughs> result for Jocelyn. You, uh, you would have hit the red. Red is shot. It's just that. No opportunity for two. Kadriana will throw this away. Right. They'll concede that one is all they can get. Good try. Shoot, just, uh, I thought I had it. Here, thicker. And in throwing this through, you choose the turn that you would play if you're going to go into a power play, just so that you have a sense of what things One will red. do. So banking some information for later on in our feature, as Kadriana Sahedak will fire it through. They come in with a 2-0 record. We welcome you back to the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship right here on TSN. This upcoming Thursday, we will crown a national champion. Two outstanding players will represent Canada at the upcoming Mixed Doubles Worlds. And we have a date now. It will begin on May the 16th, so we're very excited about that. Still to determine a venue and location. As 35 teams competing from right across Canada. And we will have that page playoff. The top four will make it. And we're excited to have Scott Pfeiffer with us, who is the Mixed Doubles National Team Coach and Program Manager. And Scott, we're very excited. Everyone is healthy. It's our third event in the bubble. And what have you seen so far out of the competition through your eyes? Well, we couldn't be more thrilled with the uh, the field that we've assembled here. Uh, Greg Wasco and the Ice Makers have done a fantastic job of providing an a excellent ice surface for the curlers. And uh, they've put on a great show for us so far. I'm sure whoever comes out of this will be a very worthy uh, uh, representative for Canada at the World Championships. Scott, I'm going to put on my my national hat because you know how much I love this sport and how strongly I feel about teams coming out of this country. Why is it that you think that we're the defending Olympic mixed doubles champion? We've medaled at the last Worlds. Why is it that Canada still has to qualify? Well, that's a good question. I mean, there's uh, at the last World Championships, there was 48 teams uh, looking to get a spot at the Olympics. And there's a lot of great teams out there uh, or countries that are competing. Um, so I think, you know, Canada obviously has a, a great, um, great potential to medal at the Olympics, but uh, they still have to qualify with, with all the other teams. And uh, I feel very confident that we're going to be able to do that. So we know host China is in and seven top finishers at the upcoming World Championships will qualify. I want to ask you, Scott, about our feature match in Sahedak and Lot. Now, maybe not household names when our viewers at home watch curling, but is this a great example, though, of what you want to see? A team like Sahedak and Lot really concentrating on this format. They come in 19-3. and three. That's their record at Mixed Doubles Nationals. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, there's a lot of great uh, Mixed Doubles teams throughout Canada that might not be the, the household names and a lot of them have qualified for this championship. Uh, Kadrana and Colton are a great team that I've had uh, the pleasure of accompanying to an international event before and uh, have a great chance of winning this thing and representing Canada this year. Scott, you've been so accomplished in the men's side of the game. We see Gushu and Einerson pairing together, you know, brilliant players in team, but first time together. What would you say is the most difficult thing to transfer from men's and women's to mixed doubles? Obviously, you only have two people on the ice, so you have to have great communication. Uh, obviously, the uh, the skill translates from one to the other, but there are uh, intricacies of the mixed doubles game that you need to learn and uh, master before you can become one of the greatest teams. Scott, listen, appreciate your time. We're excited to crown a champion on Thursday. That is Scott Pfeiffer, the mixed doubles national team coach and program manager. Thanks for this, Scott. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate all the coverage that you've been able to provide so far. So some great insight, too, from a guy who is really behind the really scenes and in. pushing hard. And we got to give him and Jeff Stoughton credit, two guys that have worked hard behind the scenes to create events Sorry, across Canada this. in mixed doubles as well to get Canada on track to get back to the Olympics and hopefully defend that gold medal. He does. If he can ever get the nose here, it's pretty good for them. Just yeah. Like this, right? Best shot would be to yeah, just. Yeah, mind here. that. 
Okay. Scott talked about communication, and we do often talk about couples, both of these teams yeah, exactly. on the ice, or couples both on the ice and off the ice, and that communication that you have when you're not curling needs to carry on to the ice. I think it was Joanne Courtney yesterday who said that that's one of the struggles. You have to work as hard at communication in a four-person team as a two-person team, and in fact, give more. Pretty close. Okay, well, Grim. It's both the same. Grim. Maybe a touch Wait for less. It. No, it's yep. Not well. much weight. Well, yep. 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 Weight's down. Weight's down. Just knows it. Well, John Morris was a part of that team with Caitlin Laws that won that Olympic gold medal in Pyeongchang in mixed doubles. Paired up with Daniel Schmiedman. They're down 2-0, though, in their matchup. Haas Tardy up on the Laws combination 3-2. And a bounce back for Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell as they lead 2-1 over Quick and Armstrong. As Mackenzie's making her debut at Nationals in mixed doubles. And we saw Greg at the recent Tim Hortons Briar here in the bubble, representing Newfoundland and Labrador. You're throwing more weight though, hey? I'm throwing just through. Uh, hair loss. Needs to get okay. to the nose of that Yellowstone. Clean. Whoa. Weight's good. A little light. Whoa. Back You're line. not on it. Trying to hit a piece. Clean, clean, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 you're not moving. Girl. Good. That's good, I think. Gives us that option. So Peterman Glant, I still believe, yeah, I shot stone. This, opens this up Top really. button. Right. <laughs> be nice to do this, though. Kind of leave this right here so yeah. then we always have this right right so probably like yeah. hack so try, to, try to get the shooter right here. out of there hack quarter rock we're going to yeah okay quarter rock hot with yeah thick quarter with hack i just that first one came up so much i know that one didn't do that at all i mean i can see that where it's a couple down that path yeah but i didn't want to I kind of wanted to get the three like hair deeper. Well, the nice thing is, we have the, I can hit what I can see and get the double. Yeah. A little thicker. Like, a, little like a thicker. third, solid third. A little more. So red, yellow, move the yellow to the back of the eight foot and leave the shooter such that they can run it in on an angle and maybe remove shot stone on Cadriana's. It's not much weight. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. No. Uh oh. oh. That's my bad. Do you still like that? Or do you like just. It's her shot, right? Just some... I think I like. I think I like it. I don't need to play it, but what else do you like? My other thought was just. There, unlock it. Make sure we're sitting one, and then the other one's there. Might have something. I think I like trying to sit two. Third? Do you think half gets, do you think half gets it? Yep. What's that? Yep. I think well, I need not a much available. More. Dare more. Is this is this the double attempt, Kathy, to try to pick out it that is. red? It is. Clean. 
That red certainly the problem. Stone, it is locked in there. Not anymore. Oh, nice. Wow, what a Pretty shot. Great Locked shot. Precision <laughs> shot. Brett Glant. Well, he saw that from the very beginning and wanted to play it. Didn't like the option of just playing the tap. Well thrown. So I can still probably get button with my out. Absolutely. Let's go a hair wider. Yeah. Do you think edge I get by? So Kadriana will try to come down and freeze on top. She's really thrown aside. She's just side, took yeah. her side. Yeah. So it might be a hair fresher. Yeah. That is a huge win percent. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it early for line. Line's good. Yep. Yep. Line's good, yep. Yep. Hard. Watch the finish. Hard. This Hard. over curling. Right here. Chance for three. Okay. Just keep your broom down near that far hog line. Okay. I'm thinking 14 and a half, Joss. Okay. I think what you gave me on your first one this time was like 15 and a quarter. Or I agree, like that. yeah. So I just need a bit more. Yeah, just but kind of what I've been throwing for everything I'm, else. Yeah, right? but I'm thinking it could be a hair slower here. Okay, just so if smidge. anything, do you want more? Well, right here. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's 14 and a half, 14.75. Yeah. Okay. Which is pretty slick. The ice conditions have been nice and keen here in mixed doubles. Now they were great during the Scotties and the Briar, but to a person when we have been able to listen in, they've all said that they it is it's, faster uh, it's nice. I just, just keep it than it down, has been. So a great opportunity Talk to me. I was lying. here good. in the third end, a draw for line. three as Jocelyn Peterman's Not final stone thing. on the way. Back four. No, you're you're uh, you're good. Back button. Back four. Nice nice wait. She is really good. good. So a big score of three for Peterman Galantz as they lead here at Windsport Arena in Calgary. Just like a bit fresh under the rock, so I added a little. Still awaiting our first power play here in our feature matchup as that three certainly stands out. And for Jocelyn Peterman, a lovely draw. And that is why three is on the board. But Kathy, I think worth bringing up one of your keys to start this game. We've seen this movie before. Chasa Peterman, Brett Gallant, great starts. Yes. Come out strong. It'll be curious if they can keep the pedal down now and take advantage of this three-point lead. As we've seen many times, we've seen five scored at this event. We had Jennifer Jones and Brett Lang. They had a split for six, which is almost impossible considering you throw five stones and then there's the two plays. So a lot of offense can be created here in this format. And I just took a quick look at that game that we did. The score after four in that Peter McGallant game against Courtney Molding was 4-1 for Peter McGallant with after four, and they let it slip away. And they talked about just letting those things go, but needing to find a way to finish. Well, wait only. And nothing to this one from Kadriana Sahedak as okay. it'll finish up in the forefoot. Is she T line or? Great weight, just didn't get the she finish she was hoping. Behind the tee. Okay, just in turn, freeze. In, in turn. Uh. In turn, freeze. Don't think that's enough ice for me. What? I was taking like three quarters, wasn't I? She's trying to be on center line. Okay. Get a little light. Weight's good. Line's good. I'm, uh, I think I'm just bumping. Line's not good. No, I'm not really bumping. bumping. I'm just scoot, like, You're scooching. You're just on ours right now. No, 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 no. Curl, baby. Curl. 
Sit against that six. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Just, Just gotta give it a little there. nudge, nudge. Yeah. Like this way. Or I, I, uh, you. I like it. Well, how about a big five in the third end for Daniel Schmiemann and John Morris? They lead now 5 2. The Laws combination up 4 3 on Haas and Tardy, as the BC side has Hammer in that one. And a close one also in the fourth end between Quick Armstrong, Mitchell, and Smith. As we get you up to date across the sheets of ice. And that just speaks to the, I guess you could call it defense or style of play from yes. Sahedak and Lot as you read the graphic on your screen. Right now, room. And they've done a very good job of forcing teams and also room. limiting scoring. Curl. Hard. And in their previous hard, two hard, 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 hard. championships, nationals in this format, a 15 and one record in pool play. So. Certainly a team to be reckoned with in this format, in this championship here in Calgary. Line's oh. good. Like. Okay, you've got room. Like it to curl. Whoa. It's good. No, line's not. We'll get there. Curl. We'll get there. Got a curl. I know, I know, I know. It's perfect. No, it's not. It's good. It's good. It's good. There. It's good. Now, one Here of the go. things that this team, Lot and Sahedak, have had on their side is their coach and is also the father of Colton Lot is Dale Lot as he looks on. He is an ice maker at Winnipeg Beach and well there. known for some of the best ice. It was a tour stop for juniors always because the ice is so good. And when Manitoba opened up a few of the facilities kind of to allow teams to going to nationals to shot? be able to train, one of the facilities they opened was Winnipeg Beach. So essentially in his backyard, Colton and Kadriana were able to play and Dale creating similar arena-like conditions for them. So that's something else that they have always well, coming into the events, the access to brilliant ice making from a parent. And you walk outside, is there margaritas and some hammocks? Winnipeg Beach, it sounds nice right now. Well, it's the wrong season, but yes. Just to get rid of these. Yeah, we got nothing really going on here. Even if it does this and goes up here and kind of moves everything around. Yeah. I don't want to, like, I want to just thin it. Okay. We got to get it off of there. Well, that tells you everything. He knows that he may jam on some things, but for Colton, Probably trying to find a way to make sure they yeah. can score. And Dale also watching what other players are throwing for stones will match. And you can be sure that he is someone that will be talking to Greg Owasco on a very regular basis about what's happening with the ice and the stones. Big up weight, Colton Lott. Wow. Look at the action on that Yellowstone, my goodness. There's the bullet that we talked about in the keys. He throws that up weight so well. Just gives his team a chance to find some room in that scoring area. Well, he's a carpenter by trade. That was some nice precision right there. That's exactly how I wanted it. Well, yeah. yeah. Just then it, um, just so we didn't move too much. Yeah. I think I like just a throw. hair. Thanks. Okay. Good. Uh, I gotta get a hair low. Yeah. Just give me a, a smidge. Uh, no, that's good. I thought it was gonna run on me. Smidge last. Back pot and back four. We talked with Scott Pfeiffer about qualifying Canada at the upcoming Worlds. That'll. Nice. Start May 16th, all, yeah. and this was the team we that did. went to the Worlds after yeah, winning Canada in 2019. They lost 6-5 in Norway to Anna Hasselborg and Oscar Eriksson right of now. Sweden. Got a curl. Line's pretty good. Line's pretty good. Whoa. Curl. Curl. Ah, just in between. Be nice to just. Mm -hmm. She's going to freeze. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't see anything else. I don't either. The in office. Yeah, we, we kind of have to hit it on the low side so we don't grab. Well, it's not terrible if I just nut it here. This is going to go yeah. over here. At least it's probably like it's in half. Like here? Third. Yeah, closer to a yeah, third, I think. Okay. If you want to hit it on the low side. It shouldn't Bill? do much. Get on the low side. If you go across there, that goes there. If you make any contact with the red, it may actually just go back on that yellow, so you might be able to save it. Give me a little less. We heard Scott Pfeiffer talk about traveling with this team to a curling World Cup event. It was in Beijing and in Sweden. A couple legs in that event. So some international experience for this team. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big time weight. In off one. And he'll roll it and kiss the top. And still Set. shot stone okay. without hammer. That's Peterman good. Gallant here in four. Stop on a guard. She's throwing it. Or do I just do that? Well, the thing is, if he knows. It's not good. It's kind of a shot. I'd much rather see she... her playing the run back. Do you think she can slash that? She can. You can we can hit for, it if you for want. For one? Or oh, do you yeah. think it's for two? It's for it's for uh, two. Oh, maybe not. It's for two if she just slashes it in here and sixes on this. Let's not waste time. Okay. So what am I doing? I think guard. Like let her play the run. Like that's a really yeah. tough shot as it is. So, but I want to guard the high side. Yep. She got nothing on the inside. We we got to guard. You can even guard the nose. Like leave her the nose. Okay. Right. Halfway. Sorry, she's got nothing through the hole, right? No. So I can leave a hole? That's what I'm saying. You, Make sure I'm high. You guard the outside. Okay. Where are you taking for ice? I'm thinking like halfway to the board. Okay. Do you like that? Yep. It's going to be uh, th three to four feet slower. Yeah, and just like halfway? Yep. You can hit it like three quarters. Weight's perfect. Okay, just keep it out there, I think. How is it? How deep are you? Line's, How, line's good. Right on that home hardware, or a hair short of it. Finish a hair. Finish a little, finish. I think you're perfect. Cool. Uh, really good shot, Joss. Hi, girl. Great Takes shot. away that red yellow. Run that. Uh, yep. Good sweet. Yeah. Pretty much straight back. Right on nose. Right on nose? Yep. Like so, normal? Firm? It, yeah, keep it firm, yeah. So trying to hit it exactly as if that guard were not there. So red onto yellow, so hitting the guard. That would be a heck of a pool shot, never mind a curling shot. Well, a really good guard by Jocelyn. It is a long run. But the only shot I see to get rid of that shot stone. Only two stolen ends allowed this week thus far. Kadriana Sahedak, final stone in four, and it is a tough one. Oh. She'll drive it back. And right by everything. So a steal of a single. And a great first four for Jocelyn Peterman and Brett Gallant as we step aside. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Made for real life messes. By OK Tire and BKT Tires. By New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada and by Home Hardware, here's how. Is this the double attempt, Kathy, to try and pick out it that is. red? It is. 
That red certainly the problem. Stone, it is locked in there. Not anymore. Nice. Wow, what a Good shot. Great locked shot. Precision <laughs> shot. <laughs> and it's a big reason why they lead 5-1 to one as we check the numbers, Kathy, after 4. Well, lots of pressure on Jocelyn Peterman in the first and hit facing 3 in a new path, but she made it. And we've just showed you that wonderful double by Brett Gallant that sets up the 3 and that steal, very few given by Lott and Kadriana uh, so far. And look at the numbers. Wonderful, wonderful numbers. Kadriana, it's just those last rocks that she struggled with. After four, brought to you by OK Tire, service, repair, and tires. As our coverage continues at Canada Olympic Park, and a beautiful day to go for a rip down the hill, skiing, <laughs> snowboarding. As our coverage continues, the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Curling Championship from right here in Calgary. Laura Walker, yes! you bet a pistol. Great shot. Whoa! Whoa! Mark Myers gets the job done. Yep, yep. And that is the matchup coming at you later on today at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Negevin Carruthers, Walker Myers. It was Joanne Courtney Reed Carruthers winning this event in 2017. And Laura Walker, Kirk Myers, your champs in 2018. So that should be a dandy later on this afternoon from the curling bubble in Calgary. And one of the things that you talked about earlier today, Brian, in terms of Colton Lott and throwing the tuck, you'll see Reed because he throws with a crutch. He plants his sweeping broom in the middle of the ice where he thinks that he will utilize it so he can pick up and run and not have to bend over and get it. It's quite interesting to watch. That's a sport in itself it just is. to try to maneuver that. So we look forward to our feature. Our TSN curling crew will have you covered later on this afternoon in Calgary. Meantime, it is catch-up time in our feature. As, again, Peterman Galan off to a great start, leading by yeah. four with play underway in the fifth end. And it will be Kadriana Sahedak, Colton Lott with Hammer throwing the Red Stones down by four. And one of the things that we see, as you saw the statistics, is that for the player that throws lead and throws skip, they merge those numbers together. And for Kadriana, tried that long run back, didn't quite make it, so that's a zero. Tried the draw to the lid, didn't make it, that's a zero. There's very few partial marks for the last rock thrower. So often you see those numbers quite a bit lower than the middle three. Yep. Just because of the degree of difficulty. Go, go, go. You almost never see it, Kathy, but if you choose, every end you can change if the female, for example, they can throw two, three, and four, and the male can throw one and five. You can change it if you choose to every end, but you don't see it very often. Line's good. Okay. Weight's good. T-line. Back four. Back four. Yeah, it's hanging a little. Back Wait. four. It's less than you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, just a smidge heavy. What'd you get in there? 13.9. You missed it. What? It's not 13.9. That's, that's what I've been getting on yours last time, oh, no. too. Maybe I'm not oh. seeing the far hard line. Like, try to top theirs on those. Kay. Less, 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 less. Well, it's interesting. We heard that bit of a discussion between Brett and Jocelyn about what the time is. So whether Jocelyn was late in timing it or it just feels faster than 13-9, normally in a four-person team game, your players would be equating it back to draw to the button or specific throws. But you have to utilize what you've got in the absence of those extra people to tell you what they're seeing and feeling with weight. You got it. Go, go, go. Good brush and a good shot. That's shot stone on the home hardware button. Wow, it's the red and yellows are gone, reds are in. It's not really good. Do you like making it? Well, I can't really get rid of a lot of reds either. You know what I'm saying though? Yeah. I guess. So if you hit half? I don't think the three is going very far, huh? You don't think? Let's freeze one in there. If he blows it up, there's still a lot to end left. 
Are you trying to get a hair low then? I'd love to almost get to know. Yeah, like yeah. get as in as I can. Yeah. Even if I choke off, like if I get an inch behind his, their top eight one, yeah. kind of choke that off, that's good too. I think that's not enough ice though. If my weight's good. Okay. The concern with playing any sort of hit on the red stones in the house is that it drives it straight back More onto their yellow. So my Brett's playing the draw. Weight's good. Got a bit of room. Top four. Take to go a bit. You're gonna have to finish. Looks close to Line's me. good. No, oh, gotta finish. Finish. Curl a ton. That is lovely That's weight from Brett Gallant. The out turn right to the nose. Pretty good. Be nice to stick this here. Yeah. Now both of those reds could Main go. Main thing is just to straighten out it. Uh, like this one here. I don't think I have to throw a crazy amount of weight at it. No. Just to almost pop it out. Yeah. What do you like, normal or control? Yeah, like. Probably you normal. Hit this right on nose, hey? Yeah, I want to nut it straight in there. Okay. It was like half. Yeah. No, I'm like normal weight. Oh, normal. Sorry. Or I can throw control. I'll throw control. Yeah. You need to All tighten right. up a hair, but it's mostly weight. Like if it's, if it's weights there, that gets the line. Okay. Comes that center line guard, they get by it. Colton Lott, tap, tap, and look at the yellow squish Thanks. out. And it is Kadrian and Colton That's now lying the two. Yeah, I didn't, the more weight you throw, the more you lose stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's really good. Well, not only the more weight, the more you lose stuff, but with Mixed doubles, there's so many rocks in play around the center that it's not about getting rocks out of play, it's about getting them off the forefoot. This? Yeah. In or the out? You asked Scott uh, Playfer about a team like Anderson and Gushu and the hardest thing to come into mixed doubles. I think as a high-end skip, playing yeah. mixed doubles would yeah. get you a lot more acclimatized to out. more rocks in play and more strategy and really and honing up that part of your game. It doesn't hurt, it, it rounds out. We talked about Nancy Martin so much because of her winning record in mixed doubles and seeing her uh, just so comfortable at her first Scotties with having so many there. rocks in play and oh, having I to agree. make very precise shots. We have to play like a thick double. The intern heater on the way from Brett Gallant. Hard for peace. Here in Hard five. For peace. Hard for peace. Okay. Hits it thin, so but sliding wide and hooded. gets one out of the four, but still <laughs> shot stone belonging to Sahedak Lot. Sorry. Like, throw. Uh, Decent result. I'm yeah. Here. Yeah, like, and he said I could have called you off and maybe stuffed it there, hey? The speed that he throws, and then he's also sweeping. Jocelyn was yelling, yeah, as he let go, and then he's trying to get up. Yes! Chase the rock. Hard for peace. Hard for peace. Hard for peace. Boy, need to be fit and agile. A quarter? Yeah. Thin double off the yellows? One, two, oh, and just sorry. too much action as the shooter spins up and right out of play. 
Out of the rings. Sorry. Do I draw yeah. or do I play? Just draw. It's probably not worth it if I were jam. Just draw, yeah. Yeah. Joss, here's good. Yeah. Here's fine too. Yeah. Right? There you see a 5-5 tie as Caitlin Laws and her nephew taking on Haas and Tardy. They're locked up. And it was a big score of five in the third. Uh, Schmiemann, Morris, leading over Osamwan and Trevor Bunno. And the combination of Greg Smith, Mackenzie Mitchell, up by two on Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong. He saw Mike at the 2012 Briar when he teamed up with Scott Manners. So for Jocelyn, looking for the button, but her tolerance is to be corner frozen on top of the redstone that is buried. That would just really reduce the scoring potential for Kadriana on her last stone. Line's good. Yep, hard. Get a shot, get a shot, hard. Okay, you're just freezing, hard. And he gave it okay, all he had, shot, so. not shot stone. Makes her throw the turn. Okay, she's right. Good shot. Or here, but I don't, like if it ever over curls, it's yeah. not good. I threw this here. Yeah, I like so. this. So Huge. the cold draw for two to get back in this game. Okay. Like two feet more weight. I was thinking, like, if I could have got it in there for shot. Yeah. Well. What kind of time are you expecting here, Kathy? Right on this draw? Probably about a 14 2, 14 3. So one in their back pocket, a chance for two, final stone. Kadriana oh. Sahadak here in five. Line's good. Yep. Well, line's good. Wait's close. Whoa. Line's good. Yep. Yep. Here comes the redstone. Got to carve it by. A little wick. Did it roll enough? And I don't know. Just one. I think she lost the rotation on her handle, and that's why it drifted sideways. I think if she's got a firmer rotation that stone would have got by that front and scored two so just the single and now watch one the more look there muddy it's right around here now you see it's not really turning and rotating it's drifting sideways that's not a pick that's a slow rotation if it doesn't touch that top one it's two that's the arena ice experience and that is a single on the board as peterman gallant with hammer leading by three Great to see our fans still with us. They haven't moved literally since the opening draw, Kathy. Oh, and they're golf fans. They're very quiet. As we welcome you back to our feature game, it's the home hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Curling Championship here on TSN. And Kathy, I thought that was a great learning lesson on what you illustrated on the final stone of Sahadak in that draw. When you go back to your regular sheet of ice, if you're a casual curling fan, it's that release and it's that I guess, what, what did you the call rotation. it? The rotation and how it just kind of grinds over. And it, it does. And, you know, we talked about Dale Lott creating ice. That We talked about Winnipeg Top Beach. The, the club is actually Petersfield. But, again, it's curling club ice. It's not arena ice. And rotation will come off okay. on an arena situation. And that's what caught Cage Brianna. I think her weight was perfect. I think she threw it right at the broom. But you saw that rotation come off at the end. And then it just drifts sideways and made contact with the top stone. And that's why they got one instead of two. And look at the rotations here, for example, on this stone right now from Jocelyn. What is what is the, the is there a perfect number of rotations they teach three or four or five does it matter? Well, you know they talked about initially maybe three when you're throwing on a curling club ice, but I think that anybody that comes to an arena knows that it's not the number of rotations. Maybe it's four or five, but it really is starting the release a little early and finishing it crisply so that you're really putting the turn on the rock. You're not letting it come out of your hand because it will come off. Oh, 
I can't wait for that. Know, you just I talked about too. golf. Dustin Johnson, We're your defending right champ of the Green Jacket, the Great Masters on TSN CTV. You see it down. there April Whoa. the 8th. I had a chance to be in Augusta one year, and I do think it's one of the only places I've been in my lifetime that is bigger than life, bigger than it's shown on TV. It's spectacular. What year did you qualify? That's incredible. Well, I didn't know that. I am that good. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Didn't say I played. Uh, that's good. That's a great stone. Looking for a corner freeze on that. Always about angles in mix so that when you start to play some weight against them, you can move stones out. Can't hear you at all. Fine's good. You're heavy. Uh, Not late. Girl. Okay. And Sorry. a little chip. Pretty much the same weight. Same weight? Well, we heard Brett, a really great communication. We heard him say, I don't hear you at all. Sorry, well, More so than mixed fours. You nothing. need to talk all the way down, both players. And that was just a gentle reminder to Jocelyn, like, what am I doing with this? I don't know about line. I can tell you weight, but you got to help me out. It's probably in a track. It's definitely more. Whoa. Stay close. Wait's good. Yep. Whoa. Need to get to the inside. Yep. Straight. Hard. Hard. Set, 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 and Colton, a little bump. It's good. Rocks piling up now in the uh, forefoot here good. in the sixth end. That was really good. It is really good right now. I can get rid of all those yellows right too. Can you tap the four? Ah, uh, just kind of overcurl the hair. Like try yeah. to get a hair low? Get this four out of there at least? I'm not getting it anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just going in here for now. Okay. Uh, give me a hair less ice if I... If I ever can chisel it with this intern, it'd be real nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, needs to get another one in there. You already heard Colton a lot less. looking his chops at the opportunity to make all three yellow go away the way they're set up right now. Wait's good. Uh, line's good. Got a bit of room. It's good. T-line. Room. Too much room. Got to oh, curl. It's OK. As Brett Glenn trying to lock one in there. And he finds That's the good. pocket. That's good. And he really changed the angles, which was key. Just try to squeeze it in there. Yeah. Just thin this. Thin this? And, ho and hopefully this kind of spins up too. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the shot cage. Okay. You'll lose the yellow stone at the back. Like thin quarter. Yeah. But you heard what they're trying to do is just hit this on the nose and hope this kind of scooches right into the middle and splat. I've missed the scooch. Well less. done, Kathy. The edge. We haven't scooched in a while. So we can expect a Manitoba missile here. I don't think he's going to throw a bullet, but he's going to throw enough weight for sure. Well, that would be my bullet. That's, <laughs> that, that's <laughs> Col Colton Lott, big time weight. Bang. And look at that. He does. Beauty. I was going to let you do a scooch. Well, I, was, I, I was letting you get in there. He got in there right on the button. That's pretty good. Get all those yellows to buffer you. I'd like to see him and Jason Gunlickson in a speed competition. They can both fire it. Can for sure. If I freeze, like, pretty tough for him. Yeah, you're right. Move it's great. Yeah. 
key is just to get in there. Back four. Uh, I think I need less ice. Throw back eight. Back eight. Edge at yeah. edge eight. Yeah. Hit it where I want it. So just playing to the redstone here, what? Kathy, with the yes. answer. He is just wanting to tap it back that little bit again, freeing up behind the T line so that there's an opportunity to score. Right now, the red is on top of the yellow. No way to push it. Whoa. Back line. No, really got a curl. Try. Heavy. Try. No, 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 no. Trying to chafe it in there. And Sorry, guys, this wasn't how I was playing it. And it worked. Freeze it right here. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, you should be able to get second shot here, Cage. Okay. It's quicker on this side. Okay. Actually, even if you. Ah, yeah, just freeze. <laughs> Perfect would be just to not just back and sit here. Let her focus on the freeze. How's line? Good, How's think. line? Line's good. Yep. 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 So trying to steal Line's some points right. here in six. Oh. Without hammer, final stone for Sahedak. And can't quite find that pocket. A little bump, bump. They are still shot stone. Right. With hack. So you get this, and then we set these two, right? Yeah. Or you could probably throw it harder and just. You know, hit the crotch. Yeah, it it's never waste a lot of time. Never wiggles, so hey. I think you want to hit this though first. Okay. You have the catcher on the outside if you need uh, it. Yeah, I like good hack. Good hack. I think you need kind of here. But with that over curl from Caterina, if you hit the middle of these stones, Close. the biggest thing is this red will go to yellow, yellow will go to red. That comes back here, and both of your yellows stay exactly where they are for two. Oh, here's our power play next. Like board, I do the rocks? No, I think that's too much ice for board. Okay. Pretty, well, like, pretty actual board, not yet. That's close, but I think, okay. I think heavy hack. Okay. Edge? Yeah. And the reason that he's saying that is pretty unmissable is that if Jocelyn hits any part of the red, if she's a little bit full and it comes off the yellow, either way, any contact with the yellow or the red, that red stone that is shot goes and yellow counts too. Final stone in six, Jocelyn Peterman, a chance for two. Clean. Weight looks perfect, line looks really good. There's the tap tap and an up as it yeah. squirts through and it is yeah. two on the board for the two time gold medalists. Winners in 2016 and 2019 as they lead here in Calgary. Oh, get ready Canada. It is time for a power play in our feature. You see the green hammer. That means the stones are moved now to the wings. As the power play is on as Kadriana Sahedak, Colton Lott trying to generate some offense here in seven. They got the power play going. They got the Red Rocks and they have hammered down by five. Well, I'll need to generate some offense for sure. Now we've talked about how teams that are ahead will utilize the power play as a defense, a way to keep that center line open, but very much like team play. Really when you're down, you try to get a corner guard up and bury a couple behind it. And that is what Colton's now asking Kadriana to do. Line's good, yep. Line only. Whoa! 
Weight's all there. Whoa! Really there. Uh oh. Uh. Don't tap ours out of the rings, please. Set. Okay, that's good. Tap that? Yeah, I don't know if I want to tap too much. Okay. It's wide open, right? So. Wait, speed's good, eh? Yeah, she threw it three and a half. T, top four. Line's good. Stay down. Top four. Stay down. T, back button. Back four, back yep, button. Yep, yep, yes! Hard! Trying to hold the line. Oh, I just lost it. It's okay. Great weight. Shoot. Straight freeze this one, I think. Okay. For right now. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. So rocks in play here, Kathy, trying to control the angles. They are and trying to utilize also every stone that's in play. So for now, Colton is going to try to freeze onto the shot stone. Yeah, last cage. Hoping that the Gallant Peterman duo will take a run at it given the score, maybe jam, create an opportunity for two or three. Okay, line's good. All you right now. Wait's close. Stay close. Line's good. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Street. Line's good. Yep. Got to keep it on it. Yep. Kathy, let's check out the team comparison. Well, it is a compilation of all of the stones and the percentages on the right reflect on the scoreboard. The biggest challenge for Kadriana has been the last throw, not the first. She's been really good with it, but a couple of misses at the end have brought the overall percentage down. And it is also why they're trailing on the scoreboard. Team Comparison brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Well, an opportunity for big up weight for Brett Gallant with that space Whoa. Whoa. created by the attempted no. freeze by Colton, trying no. to get both. Can he eliminate some reds? One, and he'll chip the one thin. through. Boy, that was thin, but he got them both moving. <laughs> Believe it's still second thought, shot that is red. I, I'm on it. I was like, cleaned it? Yeah. I was like, at least we won't touch our yellow. But, uh, not much. It's good result. Whoa, for a piece. <laughs> Kick the hair full. Are we shot? Over okay, we don't one. really have too much time to think. Kind of the same thing, just try to get to the... Okay. Okay, he's always playing this way off of it, though. Okay. Or unless we go around it. I don't mind hooking around it, Cage. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's the Wayne Madaw call that we saw a lot at the Briar, utilizing your opponent's stone in the forefoot and going towards the back of the house. We'll try to be eight foot uh, and second shot. That should be close. Trying to lure the opponent to use their own to run it back. And if they happen to not hit it on the right angle, they pick it out. Line's good. Keep it out there. Got room. Yeah, I know. Line's good, yep. Well. Wheat's good. Line's good. Room. Yep. Oh. yep. Line only, line only. Oh. Just by. And now it's got to dig in. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, good throw. Makes it interesting. And it'll yeah. be fourth got, shot yeah. stone. We're still second, this so. This is out counting that. Okay. Get some thinking. Draw over here. Yeah, I want to sit second, so. Yeah.
just Need that. Foot, foot more ice. Eight inches deep for Colton. Right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, ignoring yeah. that whole mass, going open I side. I just want to be, I don't want to be uh, running out of line. Yeah. Right? Whip a spinner. Okay, I don't think line's gonna be an issue. Wait's good. Oh, yeah. Never running out of space here. Need about half the stone in the eight foot to be lying two. You need half eight. Weight looks pretty good. And they do sit first, That's second, okay. and third. Yeah, looked like it was gonna go a hair farther than that. Yeah, right on those. I'm just gonna helicopter down. Okay. <laughs> She's okay. So this will be a lot of tops. Probably want to hit a boat. Like seven eighths and hope it spins. Okay. Hoping that it'll spin right really hard. Maybe tap that Yellowstone and all of a sudden there could be three buried behind the corner guard. Calling Airwolf, here is the helicopter. <laughs> Bang! And he'll yeah. clip his red. <laughs> Needed to curl. We're still shot here. Are you sure? Yep. Pause. You just draw on. Good try. You draw this. Just that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, You're here, it's fine. She's not going to throw it like. She's not yeah. going to throw six Lock seconds. Yeah, lock it on that one. Yeah. You think middle's close? Well, scoring that five in the third end was crucial and a big difference in an 8-3 win is Daniel Schmiemann, John Morris beating Moise Moan and Trevor Vano. So we're both tonight. Yeah, so we'll meet you in the lounge after. And the Schmiemann Morris team looking very strong yesterday in the game that we covered. And that's a true pro, charting stones, charting a chance for a drink later on. That's shot. John Morris has it covered here in the bubble. In like it should be great. You like it? I was thinking max. No. Lines max. You're back four. Really good, Josh. You're not quite to it if you. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Well. Okay. I'm line's thinking fine. just even's great. Even or hair deeper. I thought I was deeper yeah, than that. Feel. I thought you feel weight. It's about two thirds. Chance to play the double and stay to lie two. You're pretty much just rolling and topping this over. What? It's pretty much a roll and top over. Okay. I'm not even convinced though, is that out counting in the right wings? Is there stone out counting the yellow stone if they make the double? I the red? Know. I think you the think red is out do. counting the yellow. I do. I think if Kadriana hits this and is able to tap that second stone over enough, they could lie too. So the tough double and they need it. As you look at the scoreboard, you look at the end, we're in seventh. Yep. Running out of time on the rocks. Kadriana oh, yeah. Sahadak, and she'll bang it on the nose, and it will be the single. Good game, guys. And it will be game. Good luck. Good luck. So a big yeah, time win good game, for good Peterman good and Gallant when you talk about the pool and keeping their hopes alive to win the pool. Yeah, good throw. That was a good throw. And the first loss for Sahadak and Lot at this year's championship. 7-3, your final. We'll step aside and wrap up coverage coming up next in Calgary. The Game Story, brought to you by Tim Hortons. Get your Tim's run without the run. Order delivery today through the Tim Hortons app. A uh, great Gallant double and three really gave the edge. And then see, Sahedrak had an opportunity for two. It over curls, and that really stopped the momentum. Some wonderful numbers by Peterman and Gallant this morning. While both in the 90s, says that is the game story. And one game story still to be determined as one game on the ice, and it is. Caitlin Laws, Connor Laws taking on Desiree Haas. 
and Tyler Tardy as we check out the house in a 7 7 tie. Hammer belonging to the Laws combination and one to come here from Desiree Haas here in eight. Well, they spent a lot of time looking at this shot. I believe they've elected to remove the lone red stone. The key is whoa, rolling whoa. inside whoa. and not creating a pocket. Straight, hard. And they just lost it. They were close, but now that button is available. Um, yeah, it was in line with this home hardware logo, so. Okay. I think I can take a hair yeah. less. Yep. Well, the bronze medalists from Ottawa in 2014, Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong, rather, losing to Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell out of Newfoundland and Labrador, A3, the final. That Smith-Mitchell duo playing very well. Indeed, she's the 19-year-old making her debut in this event. We saw Greg at the last two briars, including the one here in the bubble. So they had some time issues the last time we featured the Laws combination. Timeout being called, lots of time this time. And there you see, pretty simple. In theory, the button is available, but still a difficult shot. And one remaining from the Olympic gold medalist in mixed doubles in Pyeongchang back in 2018. Now, Caitlin has the lid, cannot afford to bounce off. The out turn draw on the way. Final stone here in eight in a 7-7 seven, seven tie. It's good. No backing. Okay. Okay, you have backing. Mine's good. Right on the team. Her nephew, Connor Laws, on the brush. Got a curl. Okay. Got a curl. Curl. Has the backing. Curl. Curling up. Hit. Tap. Good. Rolling, and it will. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, I think it not may have stop rolled in too time. far. Overswept. Wow. Can you measure it if you it. want? Yeah, put a stick to it. That's probably yellow, though. I can measure. So it looks like a stolen win for Haas and Tardy, but they will measure. I thought that was them all day. Is my girl oh, yeah. together? Yeah. Looks like them. Yeah, it is them. Did you want me to. Cargo? It's like. Oh, if it's heavy, just yeah. get off. But yeah, if, it's, if you think it's there, just get off. And then at the end, try. But I thought you were assuming like it was just, just there, so. Yeah, definitely just a little cleaner there. Fuck's sakes. So the measurement. That's the stone for Haas and Tardy, the Laws combination stone. And it is yellow. So a stolen win. As the three-time Canadian junior champ, Tyler Tardy. We've seen Desiree Haas at the Scotties. Both of them were here in the bubble and both win in the bubble. 8-7, your final. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like it. By Tim Hortons. Get your Tim's run without the run. Order delivery today through the Tim Hortons app. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Beautiful shot of downtown Calgary in Southern Alberta. It is our third event, Season of Champions. It is the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship. It all began on Thursday. It will wrap up this upcoming Thursday where we will award a gold medal to two players that will represent Canada at the upcoming Worlds. As we check out Pool E standings for you, as a tough loss for the Laws combination as they are in tough to do anything going forward. Quick and Armstrong also their second loss and for Tardy and Haas a big win there two and one and the winner of the pool will advance and get a bye into the playoffs and pool A the story Courtney and Molding they are three and oh 
And Sahadak Lott, you saw them their first loss, and for Peterman and Glenn, a big win as they improved to two and one. Obviously, the goal is to win the pool and get that bye and continue your run into the playoffs. We will focus on Pool C coming up next. Our coverage on TSN. Selena Negevin, Reed Carruthers, Laura Walker, and Kirk Myers. Walker and Myers champions a few years back. And Carruthers also a winner with Joanne Courtney. So there's the matchup. 1.30 p.m. Eastern time here on TSN. As the two-time gold medalists had a great start and put the pedal down, cruising to their second win here in Calgary. As the home hardware Canadian mixed doubles curling championship continues on TSN on behalf of myself, Kathy Goche, our entire crew, thanks for watching all of our coverage right here on TSN.